Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. If you would have told me yesterday that one Icon Player SBC would have the power to crash basically the entire market, and specifically one sector of the market, on a random Tuesday in FIFA, I would have been like, nah man, you're crazy. But guess what? It happened. We had a massive SBC yesterday with Carlos Alberto, and I want to talk about how it's not only impacting center backs and right backs, but how this SBC is being done by so many people, and it's impacting the market everywhere. So we have to talk about that and why prices are down bad with that SBC and other factors, including live games from Champions League. Live cards are down in price because even some of them that are winning and going on in the competition are down in price still because the market just feels like it is in the mud and I think that team of the season news is starting to circulate a bit more and it's keeping prices down will that continue today on Wednesday we're going to talk about it and what else to expect in the game today if you're excited for the video today drop a thumbs up on it if it helps you out drop a thumbs up as well and subscribe if you are new now let's t talk about this Carlos Alberto and let's take a look at it because we knew there was a leak for this right and yesterday I was not entirely sure when it was going to drop we have now had two really good value icon player SBCs back to back days with Perez and Carlos Alberto now why is this one making such a big wave well first of all let's look at this card right right back center back and right wing back positions on a 90 paced player specifically a lot of people look at this card I think and they want to play him at center back because he has the 90 pace and not just a 90 pace split with like you know terrible uh, acceleration and really good sprint speed he has got 91 acceleration and 90 sprint speed guys this is a really really top tier meta card that EA gave out at such a big discount yesterday and that's why so many people are going and doing it only four squads to complete this SBC 84 87 87 and 88 it's not easy by any means but when you consider a card that was 900,000 coins just about oh you know three or four days ago right a million coins uh last week and he has now has an sbc in the game for six hundred thousand coins that is crazy and that is a card especially with these stats this is a card that so many people probably saw as unattainable and now that ea drops an sbc for six hundred and fifty thousand coins which we all know is a lot easier to get done than six hundred and fifty thousand coins out of pocket this is an SBC that so many people are going to do, especially with the uh, convertibility that this card has, center back and right back. I think a lot of people do play him at center back. I've used the mid cross Alberto for a lot of, of games this year. I thought he was better as a right back, but this center back, right back uh, Carlos Alberto was one that I'm going to be very interested to craft, especially during team of the season, whether I start to do it pre pretty soon or during team of the season. This is a card that I would like to have in my uh, arsenal of players uh, in my squad. 93% upvote might be one of the highest percentage upvotes I've ever seen on an icon player SBC because usually icons aren't this good of value. How much was Perez? What was his upvote percentage? 71%. Gattuso, 84. I mean, Roy Keane has gotten 91% as well. It just goes to show that how good of value icon SBCs uh, have been dropping recently in this game, and it's really taken a toll on the market. But specifically with this Carlos Alberto, center backs and right backs on the mid to high tier range are down loads because when when EA drops an SBC like this, like what's stopping people from going and saying, I don't want to use this Marquinhos on my team anymore because instead of having a Marquinhos for birthday that's tradable, it's, you know, yesterday was like 580, 600,000 coins, now down to 472K, but with 82 pace, you don't have the ability to convert him to a right back. He's not as useful, right? In that sense, this card is down big time. All center backs on this game are down horrendous. Even some of the cheaper ones, right? Mats Hummels, so many people have been using this Mats Hummels on a lower tier budget, saying that he has really, really good insane stats. And it's true, he does. But Mats Hummels is now 100,000 coins after being 125K a couple days ago because of this SBC right here, right? It's the general market drop off and people not really wanting to buy cards for their team you kind of uh, compare that and combine that with this massive SBC and you just get a, a recipe for a lot of prices falling like crazy, right? Llorente is down. King is down. You can look at almost every single meta center back on the game. Some of these prices were taken uh, from during the stream yesterday when prices were still dropping. Uh, Militao was 530k. He's now like 450. Desai was 880. I believe he was 770 when I looked earlier. Now, some of these cards are going to have fluctuations and they're going to have bounce backs here and there. 
But again, with the way that the market is right now heading into team of the season with all of the hype and the buildup, I think a lot less people are actually buying cards for their team, which really, really hurts these cards in price even more. Team of the years are down in price. Militao team of the year and Hakimi team of the year dropped down a lot in price yesterday. Actually, it's crazy to me that people would panic sell a team of the year Atra Hakimi right back card who was 2 million coins. Yes, 2 million coins just a couple days ago. He was down at 1.7 mil flat. He did have a nice rebound back to 1.3, but you compare this card to Cal Carlos Alberto, it's nowhere close to that card, but the fact that you can craft Carlos Alberto for so cheap, right? A lot of people right now are getting fodder through the upgrades that are in the SBCs with the player picks, the 82 plus upgrades, the 81 plus upgrades that have really, really good pack weight. People are getting fodder from these, also from all the objective packs that are available from like the weekend league. And some of the other, like the draft mode and all this stuff that is in here um, that's giving out fodder packs at the moment, extra fodder packs uh, right now. Even the uh, Burr Camp objective is giving out some nice packs. So fodder is a plenty as well. And I think that's why you see fodder prices still being very, very low. But it was just crazy yesterday watching these prices drop and watching these prices fall because it was obvious that so many people are doing this SBC. Of course, Carlos Alberto's price on his card dropped down considerably as well. He's now down in the low. 600k range after being 1 million coins like guys this is a really 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 good card it is an end game right back or center back wherever you choose to play him uh some people argue about his actually like meta overpowered ability because he's a bit smaller uh i will say i used cordoba a lot earlier on in the year um, and I really enjoyed him, but I do like the big, tall center backs that are just kind of like the walls, right? Like the Van Dyke or the Saliba type of build. Those are the center backs that I think a lot of people prefer in this game for the top tier meta. But when you look at the face stats in this card, you know that people are going to do an SBC like this because the stats are just really, really crazy. So that's kind of all and everything. That kind of sums up yesterday, right? Yesterday was a pretty quiet content day, but with that SBC, it was such, uh, you know, the, the gravity of the situation was so big that it just dropped so many card prices because that was an SBC for so many people that is just a insta-complete at the price that it was released at, which is an insane value, and that's why you're seeing everything happen. Now, with that SBC, you might think, well, Nate, if everybody's doing that, isn't fodder going up? Well, I have some news because fodder is really not moving at all. In fact, 85s are in the low 8K range. They are dirt cheap. 87s, 20,000 coins. 88s are at 28, 29. So fodder did move a little bit yesterday on some of the middle to higher tier. But like 88s were some of the only cards that really had movement yesterday. 30K for these guys. Like they definitely did see a bit of a bump here from like 27K up to about 30. As there are the 287 rated squads and the 88 rated squad inside of that SBC. But even some of your 91s, which usually are, are used to help complete squads that are around 88 rated and above like Messi is down started the day yesterday at 82k 79,000 coins right now your high tier fodder is down a little bit your eight, your 92s are still 90,000 coins your 89s are still about 40k and of course on the low tier like guys 85s at 8k man like if I was somebody who wanted to go all in on an investment like unassigned go crazy and just wait a couple of weeks and not have to worry about the market crashing 83s or 84s or 85s would be exactly what I would go into because these prices are crazy cheap. And, you know, especially if you sold your team and you're not looking to like trade or anything like that, um, this could be a great idea because these prices, man, are just so so low so i don't know what's going to come out today for content wise could there be some more market impact on fodder there could be but this market is just not really a great place to be spending coins in right now or to hold really any cards like i tried trading with some cards yesterday i'm trading with some cards right now and a lot of what is happening is these cards will have maybe just like small bounces in in price they'll will, they will go up just a little bit but then they'll just go back down and they'll go down further right i was very tempted to buy a rente yesterday at 900 000 coins he was dropping all day almost bought him right here he went up, went back up to 930 and then what happened he went all the way back down to 880 he's still right around 900 000 coins but what's the upside on this card right we've had a ton of center mids re released recently he did get a plus one yesterday as a part of the fantasy cards that up got upgraded but even with that his price isn't going up because right now again like i say this market just is feeling 
very dead. And a lot of people don't want to buy because it's team of the season time. Prices are going to continue to go down, I think. As we talked about in yesterday's video, um, we're expecting more of like a slow burn into team of the season. I don't think anybody expected what we saw yesterday uh, on this game. Now, a couple places on the market that still interest me a ton are these Trophy Titans, man. I mean, these cards still being in packs, and especially with the market dropping yesterday, there are some really crazy prices on cards that are in this promo team. SCN, people say this card is so, so good. I haven't used it myself, but he's three, 310, man. Like, like that's crazy, bro. I'm almost trying to want to buy this to try to flip it at like 330. You know, like some of these Trophy Titans are down so bad. Philip Lam was a 500K card on Monday morning, here we are heading into a Wednesday. Philip Lam is down a hundred thousand coins. He is 390, 400 K flat for the big bro, as we call him, Lam card. I do love these trophy Titans because I mean, they're just such, in theory, they're going to be such great investments later on down the line, even though they're supplied a lot. They're icons with dynamic images for some of these guys with nice stat boost or skill move upgrades like for Roberto Carlos. But man, Rio Ferdinand, you're telling me that this guy who I sold for 840,000 coins on Monday morning would now be 690k. That is absolutely wild. But it just kind of goes to show the power of good content and, of course, people not wanting to buy cards for their teams as we head closer and closer to Team of the Season. But it still seems like we're a decent away away from Team of the Season, so I have not lost all hope in the market yet. That's why I'm still trading with a decent amount of cards. But a lot of these trades are not netting me too much profit, which is why I am I need to be more reluctant to trade. And that's why I'm mentioning the fodder investment, because if you don't want to trade and have to worry about trying to make or lose coins, coins on quick flips if you just want to buy an investment like fodder on that low tier end and just sit for like a week or two that's probably a good place to be because the content keeps rolling out and we know we're going to have a tots warm-up series promo at some point it's just kind of like really hard to time the market right now as a lot of stuff just keeps going down now the low tier market is still decent to trade in i will say that i mean if you're trading with like team of the weeks i know a lot of people like to buy these cards and list them up for lazies with chemistry styles and, and do some of that sort of thing i know that this team of the week has been pretty solid for like lazy sales and stuff like that that is absolutely a thing you can be doing right now in this game um is buying cards and then listing for lazies whether it's fodder whether it's just meta usable cards you can absolutely do that because of course you maybe know what's in demand or people want to try out team of the week cards in a lower budget and and that's also less tax. So less tax means less risk when you're trying to flip a card like that. So just be careful with the market. I need to be more careful. I lost some coins yesterday trying to trade with Fofana. He rebounded back up a little bit. I've been trying to take some cash on these, which is about a 15, 20, 20K loss per card, basically, on all of these. But I'll take it because he was 280 before. Should have bought some more then. But that's just how the market is right now. Prices are very unstable. So what's going to happen today? On a Wednesday, well, we know Wednesdays bring a brand new team of the week. We do have a couple leaks already for what that team of the week might be. Uh, coming in super early, we have a Delict team of the week card that is leaked. Uh, another upgrade to his ones to watch, which would be very interesting. I do have my eye on that ones to watch Delict card. He is up a little bit in value, but he could go higher. It's a super rare card. Um, with the Bundesliga links that have been in demand recently. Also, the Dutch links with the Bird Camp. So watch out for that Delict today. Odlise is coming in Team of the Week as well. Uh, that's a new one. That could be a really interesting and fun card to try out if the right stat boost is given there. So watch out for more Team of the Week leaks today. Also, it's a Wednesday, so that means we're getting one day closer to Trophy Titans Team number two, which is what we're going to probably uh, start to shift our focus towards by the end of the week this week. Dudek is the most le recent uh, leak. He's going to be in Trophy Titans. And, um, you know, if we take a look at this Trophy Titans team, that's not a very big leak. It just kind of seems, again, like that would be a similar type of card to Junberg or Donovan, basically one of the cheapest, um, you know, Trophy Titans that would be out in packs. Looks like they adjusted some price ranges here. Donovan's minimum was 40K, and now his minimum is 11,000 coins. Uh, Junberg is now a minimum of 11K as well. So some price range updates have happened for a couple of these Trophy Titans. What about Lam? Uh, Lom's min price is 16,000 coins. I don't know if that's an update or not for him, um, but that is a very, very low price. I mean, Lil Bro Lom being under 100K is still, still super, super crazy to me because that is a great, great card. And this promo, I'm super interested to see what Team 2 looks like for Trophy Titans because 
I do believe it could bring some hype, but I just have to think that the way this Team 1 is gone, they're going to have to really go all out with Team 2 to make it be a really, really hype week. I think they're going to start to kind of combine in the Team of the Season preparedness stuff uh, with the way this is looking as well. Now, last thing I want to talk about is we've gotten a couple Icon SBCs back-to-back days. Are we going to get another one today on a Wednesday? I would be very surprised if we had another one. There's no leaked player right now. But with Roy Keane, Robert Perez, and Carlos Alberto in the past couple of days, I feel like it might be today where EA take a break and say, hey, man, we're not going to release another Icon SBC today. I could see the release today of one of those, maybe like an 84.5, maybe a gear and review or a campaign player pick because EA definitely right now is trying to drain fodder from clubs. That's why you see the Icon SBCs are released at great values. You know, they're doing two, not just one, but two different types of player picks right now with the 82 plus, the 81 plus, right? I got to go buy some more rares to get my 82 plus player picks in for the day, get my 10 82 pluses for the day. Um, so I, I do believe there is a chance for another pack like that today. I would be shocked if there's another Icon SBC, but maybe they will rock out with one more Icon SBC for like a striker or something because they've released now a defender. They've released a midfielder and they released a left mid so um, maybe a striker is upcoming who knows uh, or maybe they're going to stop with that right there but gold rares are actually starting to creep up a bit in price because the non rares are going up as well try to get as many of these as you can at 650 if you're trying to do more upgrade packs today player picks because those are just going to continue to rise on this game now a couple things that also happened on the market yesterday with road to the finals uh, of course we had a lot of big movements right Manchester City winning 3-0 Calvin Phillips went up from his price right around during the game. He was about 370K pregame, went to about 400,000 coins after the first goal was scored. But what always happens with these cards, guys, these cards always go down after the match, always, like clockwork, because people sell because they've invested. They think, oh, my time is now to sell. So Calvin Phillips is down here at 355,000 coins. He's going to go lower earlier today. I would expect to see one more drop on Calvin Phillips and then potentially a rebound after that. So if you want to try to trade with that today, you will absolutely be able to. And then a lot of questions, I'm sure, if you really want this Leon Godretzka for your team. Goretzka right now is 700,000 coins after I, you saw it on my transfer list. I sold him for 1.2 million coins before the game actually kicked off yesterday, and he is now down to 700K. Goretzka is going to go lower a little bit further today. I do believe that there will be another couple hours of morning panic selling this morning on Wednesday for Goretzka. He will reach a low point. He will start to bounce back. What's too cheap for this card? Because this card is really, really nuts. Three star, four star, high, medium, six foot two. Um, an insane midfielder that probably is not going to get any more upgrades, right? Being down 3-0, even though you're going back to your home stadium, going to be very, very tough. Uh, we'll probably rise a little bit into the second leg next week. But honestly, if you're investing in this card, it's something you're probably looking to buy for your team more so than an actual investment. So watch for his price today. We still have more team in season panic upcoming, um, but I could see maybe like 650 being a low point for this Goretzka. And then he goes up a little bit into today because I mean, that is a really, really cracked card. Um, but especially around Bundesliga team of the season, this card might be shown some love once again. Um, with you know those links in demand. So watch out for that. Now, today we've got Fofana. We've got Alaba. I bought an Alaba for a really good price. Uh, I forget what night it was, but I bought Alaba for 1.12, which was a really good price until now where there's this brand new center back, Carlos Alberto, crashing in things right now. And, and actually, Alaba is up a bit. I do have mine listed trying to get out of it right now. Um, do you, be careful, these guys. There probably will be some selling pregame today on Raspadori. And on Fofana, um, I mean, Raspadori was even down a little bit yesterday with everything going on. He's still right now around 200,000 coins. With the way the market is, guys, I know for a fact Raspadori is very, very invested in. Um, so, you know, big game upcoming today for them. I would probably try to take the cash earlier because I could see this car dropping 10 to 20K just like Barella did yesterday before the game. Barella was 270 the last couple of days, dropped all the way down to about 240, about around kickoff. And then, of course, them uh, going on to win 2 0, looking like he's getting the upgrade this next week. He is now up to 290,000 coins. So that gamble paid off if you bought Barella and were held. But Raspadori, you, you never know, right? You never know. So be careful with Fofana, be careful with Raspadori, and be careful with Alaba. Um, and also, we had some upgrades to the fantasy foot cards yesterday, which was expected. As we talked about in yesterday's video, it was expected that EA was going to upgrade those yesterday, at least from my standpoint. And uh, guess what? 
a lot of these cards either stayed the same or went down in value as well. Fabian was one that I've traded with a couple times in and out the past couple of days. He even got a pretty nice upgrade and he's still around the same price, 178,000 coins. And again, like I mentioned yesterday, just be very careful with some of these guys that are almost, you know, to the end of their upgrade path. Isak and Alexis Sanchez, like this card looks fantastic, right? Don't get me wrong. I do believe he is every bit worthy of this 500,000 coin price range. I do believe he will still go lower before team of the season starts because the next two games are crucial for them. If they do win this weekend, Isak could go up a little bit, but with a team of the season panic around the corner and continuing on this market, I would just be careful holding on Isak and um, Alexis Sanchez specifically because they have already received three upgrades and it's going to be really tough for them each to get their fourth just because it takes uh, a whole six games of not losing. So it's possible for sure, but also it is a bit risky. Alexis Sanchez is up a bit right now. He's actually 490. So a couple of these guys rose yesterday after their upgrades, but most of them did not. Metoma is one who did not rise. Again, with these lower rated cards, always sell into the hype. It is always the move. He's 60,000 coins right now. I sold mine yesterday. We talked about it for 75K. Selling in the hype is always the way to go. And uh, that's also why I mentioned I thought the road to the finals were going to drop a bit more in price today. So be careful out there on this market because yes, there are cards that are moving, that are fluctuating and you can make coins off of, but a lot of times it seems right now, those flips are small. They are hard to get because not many people are wanting to buy cards on this game just because the state of the market and knowing that team of the season is upcoming. Uh, and then tomorrow is the last day for the community tots vote. So we'll talk about that a little bit in tomorrow's video. And um, I, I would imagine we get maybe a little bit of news today on Wednesday about trophy titans team number two um and we'll see man oh last thing really quick there's been people talking about some like glitched out store pack which if you look on the web app it actually shows it it does not show in game we were having a fun time with this yesterday on stream this sixty thousand coin pack on the web app shows a global limit of like 999 million packs that are available to open for this uh it's still limited to 10 per account some people think that this may have a little bit of an issue or the idea of why fodder is going down a bit and why some of the trophy titans are down because this pack being in the store tradable 16 rares uh four rare golds so you know yes that could be impacting the market a little bit but it's not like an unlimited pack you can only open 10 per account so that's kind of what's going on there but uh yeah kind of crazy that that on the back end you can see like you know, there's like a global limit that's shown on the companion app, I think, and on the web app. So check that out if you want to see something kind of cool. And you can also track and see how many of those have been open in the past 24 hours since that pack goes away today. So new team of the week today and maybe something else that EA will surprise us with. But we are looking forward to Trophy Titans team too as this market just kind of continues to go down in prices. So let me know in the comments what you thought about the Carlos Alberto. If you're going to do the SBC, if you enjoyed the video today, drop a thumbs up on it. And of course, subscribe. If you're new, I'll see you guys in the Twitch stream today. It's been Nate for the count. I'll catch you guys there. Peace out.